So why are project objectives important? A project can only be implemented well if it's clear what that project aims to achieve. It might sound trivial, and it might sound like project objectives are really obvious, but there are several reasons why it's worthwhile to think about them and to formulate them well as early as the planning phase of your project. So first of all, project objectives can really help you steer your project and with the decision making along the way. And if they are formulated jointly in the project team, then you can ensure that everyone will be on the same page with the project. And if everyone identifies with these objectives, then that will definitely help during the more difficult phases, which you are likely to come across. Finally, project objectives are really crucial for monitoring and evaluating the social impact of your project and for communicating the results to your donors and to other stakeholders. So in that sense, they can also be extremely useful for your fundraising work. Organizations often find it difficult to differentiate between their project objectives and their activities. And one of the reasons this is so is that in the past, projects were often solely assessed on the basis of the activities or the services they provided. But the results that were achieved as a consequence of these activities or services were rarely or even never examined. Often it's also quite difficult to distinguish between project objectives and project indicators. But an indicator, so for example, how often children switch off the light when they leave a room, is not the same as the objective, which in this case would be that children learn about the ways they can save energy and then change their behavior accordingly. Project objectives say what changes you want to create in the lives of your target group and at the societal level. So what social impact you want to reach. So the next step is to formulate your project objectives for the different levels of the results staircase. And here are some tips of how you can do that. First of all, project objectives should be formulated positively and they should describe the ideal situation. So the sentence, young people are no longer unemployed, actually focuses our attention on the negative situation rather than on what the project is aiming to achieve. A better alternative could therefore be young people have found an apprenticeship position. The same applies to project objectives at the societal level. When formulating these, think about what the situation could look like if the problem weren't there or if the problem were eliminated. Sometimes it's helpful to use the SMART criteria when formulating your project objectives. According to SMART, a project objective should be specific, which means clear and understandable for everyone. It should be measurable. It should be accepted by everyone in the project team. It should also be realistic, which means that it's actually possible to achieve the objective. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do that, but it should be possible. And finally, your project objective should be given a specific time frame. Amongst other reasons, this is good for determining when you will do your impact analysis. One of the most important things is to not mix up your project objectives, even though there can be more than one at each level of the staircase. For example, a project objective, which is young people have found an apprenticeship position and have a steady income, should be split up into objective one, young people have found an apprenticeship position, and objective two, young people have a steady income. If you mix up or combine these project objectives, you'll likely find it difficult to monitor the results. So, well-formulated project objectives are the basis for successful impact-oriented project management. Take the time to formulate your objectives well, and we guarantee that you will see the benefits along the way.